Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, entertainment and technology clients, showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. Well, here we are at the Matrox video stand. I'm joined now by Francesco. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Enjoying the show so far? Absolutely, yes. Well, you are no stranger to the broadcast industry and the broadcast world, but in terms of looking forward to the future, how are you helping your customers evolve and prepare for this new era of media infrastructure? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I think that more and more as you speak to customers in this industry, uh, they're all struggling with the same problem, which is effectively the economic pressure this industry has been under for quite some time. And we've been listening to their wishes, which is effectively trying to take advantage of technologies that have been advancing for other industries, which effectively is just standard IT equipment, networking, graphics, and CPU. Our industry was built on bespoke pieces of gear, things that do very specific things. But that's limiting because it, it's very expensive and it doesn't allow you to basically abstract the software from the, the actual hardware equipment. Now with what we're bringing to the table is a different approach, uh, a framework that it really enables a step into the future. So how specifically are you responding then? Yeah, so our role has always been um, a provider of technology, uh, foundational technology. So it doesn't really change that much in that we're providing an SDK for solution providers um, to create applications that are uh, respecting broadcast principles, the latency, resilience, and uh, robustness. Now, the way we're doing it is taking advantage of the standard IT equipment. So no longer do people have to think of um, building a box that does uh, CG or server. They could turn that into something that is very useful for their small production all the way up to an Olympic size production. So what we're doing is we're answering the need to make the standard IT equipment media aware and that's only possible with Matrox Origin. And then what are you showcasing here at IBC? Yeah, the big, the big news is that uh, at IBC, even though Matrox Origin was uh, uh, announced a few years ago, Matrox Origin Fabric is a lower level SDK that allows developers to actually access and share applications uh, and data asynchronously. So what that enabled us to do is to get a lot more logos in our community and what that means to the end customer, the broadcaster, is they could go and ask for very specific applications that they're used to using and really uh, not think of them as bespoke pieces of hardware, but application software that they can interchange and spin up and spin down when they want them. So the beauty about Origin Fabric is it's helping us expand our community. And it's also, I suppose, helping broadcasters as they move away from the traditional hardware to find workflows. Absolutely. In fact, one of the things that it's allowing broadcasters to do is because it's becoming more economically uh, viable, is that now they can focus on what they really do is, is creating content. And if, they, if we, like I said at the beginning, if there were constraints, economic constraints that are being pushed into this industry, how do we do it in a way that we can actually monetize more? Well, if you could create more content, m more versions of that content, quicker, faster, without worrying about buying specific gear for that version, and you could repurpose the same IT equipment, that all of a sudden gives economic capabilities that they never had before. So you're really helping shape the future of broadcast production. Yeah, absolutely. It's you know a couple of years ago when we came up with Origin as a, a technology that we 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 really put a flag in uh, in the ground saying this is necessary for the broadcast industry to evolve past its economic constraints and. What we're happy to, to see is that communities like the EBU with this MXL um, initiative is validating what Matrox Origin has said a few years ago, and we're supporting MXL. And, MX, and, and in, in, if you boil it down, ultimately it's, it's uh, demanding for a layer that multi-vendors could speak to one another so that the end customer could choose what function or application they want for a specific, um, either a small podcast with video or the Olympics, like I said. 
So something for everyone effectively at the end of the day and you are listening and you are supporting. Absolutely and we're also looking ahead because the broadcast, um, you know, traditional broadcast is changing. There are new players in broadcast. Well, content creators are broadcasting content and they are now moving into our world and needing live production capabilities, but they're not coming with the baggage of, oh, this is how I did it with that piece of gear. They're, they're embracing our idea saying, well, that makes sense because you know, IT equipment is what I use for everything else. Why can't I use it for broadcast video? And you know, without getting into the geeky uh, subjects here, you know, ultimately they love the fact that they're able to use the, the applications and the tools to help them tell their story. It's easy, absolutely. You make it easy and you make yeah. it very easy to interview you as well. Francesco, <laughs> thank, thank you. you so much. Enjoy the show. This is great. Thank you very much. And for more information, uh -huh. definitely come to matrox.com. Absolutely. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. <laughs>